Welcome to this look at a new mod map to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr Sealy P. I am here on Purbeck Farm 22. This has been converted over from FS19 by MS Modding at 406.14 megabytes. So, um, I'm back. Yes, I've recovered my channel. I'm back. If you weren't aware, my channel was hacked, hijacked. YouTube suspended it and I've been fighting for the last five days to get it back, but we have got it back. We're here Hopefully this all posts as well as it can do contracts are available on this map now This is um, I know when I did the map tour on this on FS 19 This is the first map I ever encountered whilst watching someone else on Farm sim when I watched Dagoin he was playing Knaveswell farm this farm where I'm standing now, in real life, because this map is based on a real location down in Dorset, this is Knaveswell Farm, um, set in the Purbeck Valley. So Purbeck Farm 22 is that section. We'll have a look at the map in just a moment. And I always remember being absolutely transfixed by the whole thing. Then Knaveswell Farm Extended was brought out. Uh, we never got those on console, but then this came to console um, on FS19, so we've got it back again from MS Modding. Uh, are there any required mods? It doesn't say so in the mod description, but when you go to upload it, it will ask you to download, or it will download automatically, the British Farmhouse, also by MS Modding. Uh, as far as other mods, if we go into, actually I think under, vehicles, there's nothing. So there's nothing been added in by the map maker there, but if we go to our build mode, along to sheds, at the end there we've got a small garage a lot of these are that shows the pictures of standard things from in-game it's just because they've been slightly modified to either fit the map we've got a farmer um 800 silo 800,000 litre standard crop type uh don't think there's anything under silo extensions containers or tools i don't think there was no farmhouses is the required mod the british farmhouse mod which you'll see just there um, on new farmer you do start with the land already you can sell the farmhouse uh, you can sell the silage clamps you can sell the silo if you want to the rest of the stuff is pretty much fixed in place and like i said we'll get around and we'll have a look at all that as we go uh, under productions again these ones are just slightly tweaked for the map and we do start with some productions on new farmer which i will talk about in just a moment too uh, there was nothing under sell points or greenhouses or orchards or generators animals we have got a few tweaks as well and this again this is capacities as well not all of them but some of them um so that's the standard cow pasture 75,000 will hold 15 this one um 75,250 uh horses We've got a slight duplicate of that. It holds the same amount, but it's just because it's tweaked a bit to fit. Uh, pigs, there was nothing. That's going to be interesting later on. I'll explain why later. Uh, nothing under sheep. Sheep pens fixed in place. Chickens fixed in place. Uh, bees and whatever. Decoration. There wasn't anything under decoration. And landscape, I think, was pretty much standard. So not a huge amount. Um, slot count on new farmer is 966 we do start with all the machinery you see around us and the buildings and stuff like that that's all here differences as always on farm manager and start from scratch you don't own the land but all the equipment and machinery is here on farm manager and start from scratch that slot count goes from 966 down to 941 the only difference i could find between the two you do still start with all the machinery and equipment is that again as we go around the map you'll see there's no horse barn and there's no pig pen which could cause a bit of a problem because I'm not sure you're going to be able to put the pig pen back in but like I say we will have a look so the map looks like this on a new farmer we start with a fair bit actually we start with all this now this whole section here is the biogas plant so this plot biogas plant and these fields here um, on not on farm engine not on start from scratch you don't start with those however the other two productions we start with and I'll scroll down until we get to those We've got carpentry and cereal factory. So the other difference being between new farmer and farm manager and start from scratch. On farm manager and start from scratch, we don't have the biogas plant, but on, new, on farm manager and start from scratch, we do have the carpentry and cereal still. Um, as far as I can tell, they're fairly standard. Um, the the, the um, biogas plant definitely is 24 cycles per month, the recipes, that kind of stuff, and incoming and outgoing things are pretty much standard. So that plot, sorry, go back to that is the biogas plant so you won't have that 
Um, but we do have these fields here, some grass fields, um, a little bit of arable. That's where the cows go out into the pasture. The main farm area here, and we've got this farm down here. Now this farm, um, in real life, is Wilkeswood Farm. And just a, a little bit of context, because this is a real place, this main road here runs from Wareham, past Corfe Castle, which is here on the map. Now this has been condensed, sort of, this is one section of this road. Uh, this road then goes through a place called Harmon's Cross, crosses over a railway here, and it heads in towards Swanage down at the coast. So this is a, a section of that. And like I said, in real life, that is Knaveswell Farm, uh, that farm. That obviously, there's a few different farms, they've all got different names. Um, and that one there is Wilkeswood Farm. So you do start with that on New Farmer. And there's a bit of machinery there as well. Um, you can sell the plot if you want to. You don't have to own it if you want to sort of go a little bit more... A bit more hardcore. Uh, fill prices vary. I mean, they're they're up there. And when I say fill prices, you don't actually in a lot of sits, a lot of the plots on here buy individual plots. That one you do. The one I click on is the one you do. A lot of them are multiple plots, and all the ones I'm clicking on are not. <laughs> there we go. So multiple fields on a plot. As you can see, you're buying kind of sections. There's a bit of forestry down there. South east, uh, southwest and northeast, we've got a bit of forestry too. And if we go back out of there, we have got a cow pasture just there, which we're going to get to in a little bit as well. That cow pasture will set it back 149,112, but we get to that later on. Um, the animals are all showing. You will need to buy, well, so you will need to buy the plots of land. You probably should buy the plots of land. Chickens and sheep are here at this farm. And as I said, we've got horses and we've got the pigs there. But on farm manager and start from scratch, those icons aren't there. And even if you buy the land, the icons don't come back. To the point where even on this one here, when we get to the, the horses, on farm manager and start from scratch, the actual horse pasture building isn't even there. So that's just something to be aware of as we go around. Uh, there, it doesn't mention anything about collectibles. So as far as I know, there aren't any. I haven't come across any. So sleep trigger is just there and behind our pickup. We've got a wardrobe trigger, that's the British farmhouse. We've got a fuel tank, a 10,000 litre, which is empty at the moment. If we come around, one thing I did notice, it doesn't seem so bad now, do it's just because there's a bit of cloud in the sky. When I came on here to have a kind of a bit of whiz round, it was very, very bright, like it was overexposed a little bit. It feels a little bit like that. It's, it's a little bit dark in the shadows, but not horrendously so. We've got a massive Ferguson there with front loader through there into this barn we've got our, our trailer and we've got our, har uh, our harvester with header and header trailer our first cow pen cow barn is just here this will do a hundred cows milk point is just there I oh, will hop the fence we've got feed trigger bedding trigger and I think the slurry point where was the slurry point oh the slurry points here this is animated slurry uh, slurry pit so we've got that there next to the clamp and then the cows are all out in the fields here I mean it's, don't get me wrong it's it's a lovely lovely map I'm I feel very nostalgic about it because of what I was talking about about this being one of the first maps I sort of encountered other than playing the game myself and the first map I played in the game was Bjornholm because that was FS15 um, there I can't remember if it was MS Modding that did the previous version of this or not um, I, I, I don't I personally really like it there are a little couple of little clunky bits here and there nothing horrendous as far as I can tell but um, I, I, I like it <laughs> anyway um, size clamps just here bit more equipment I say bit more equipment mower there in the barn then we come up to these two little barns here we've got our cedar planter we've got our, another tractor Plow and cultivator. It's all the it's all the little details and stuff. And this is another one of those maps where um, there are no collisions on the hedges as far as vehicles go. But often you find, and I haven't tested this yet, but if you've got things with pallets or you've got something with bales on, bales and pallets and stuff don't often like to go through these. Often the harvester headers don't like to either. I haven't checked that. So as, I, as far as I can tell, I can go through and vehicles can go through. But you may get hung up with harvester headers and things like that. Um, sweeps up towards the northern part of the map and down because it goes into the valley this is coming down into the Purbeck Valley now there I could have done a circular route round I'm gonna kind of do an out and back for the start but I will show you 
um, what I'm talking about. Again, I, I know when I start off and I'm saying stuff because I'm, I'm kind of preparing for what's moving forward, it will all make sense as we go around. So, slurry pit is just here. And our silo is here. Now, when it says you can sell the silo, when I, when I say you can sell the silo, uh, if we're going to build mode and we go to demolish, I think we have to get right down into there to click on it. Why did it give me the option to do it? That's weird, it's not going to do it now. Oh, okay, that's odd. Oh, there we go. Um, I, don't want, I don't know if I want to click on that and remove it. Let's have a look. Oh, right, okay. It doesn't remove the silo, it just removes your ability to use the silo. Be aware of that. Again, like I say, you might think, oh, I'll get that silo out and I'm going to put one in, in a, a different one that I want to put in space. As you can see now, the icons have gone. We've just lost our ability to actually use the silo. So, yeah. <laughs> Scary times. We are going to head along the lane up here first to a couple of points. It is very bumpy in, in places. I kind of like that on a map. Um, some of the road is, but a lot of the tracks are. We've got some quite steep bits here and there, up into fields. I'm trying to remember now, I'm, just, I'm looking. There seems to be an absence of gates. There are gates in some places. I'm racking my brain thinking back to the previous version of this, whether there were gates in all these places or not. I honestly can't remember. So, along the lane. We are heading west across the top of the map and we should get to just here by this gate the cow pasture now we don't own this but we can buy it the dialogue box for the pasture is just here this will do this is the one that's 150 150 cows trigger over there or the triggers over there for um, your feed water and then there's the milk point are all over there the other side of the field Close the gate. Continuing along, we're going to come to the first of the cell points. Now there are little farms dotted about as well, so if you don't want that the main farm to be your farmhouse, because we can place multiple sleep triggers now on the maps, you could have your farm elsewhere, or if you're playing multiplayer, you could have multiple people. I did get a warning yesterday, someone messaged me to say they'd gone on with their wife to play multiplayer on here, and every time it had tried to load, the game kept crashing. That was I haven't had it crash on single player, um, but they said it did it on multiplayer, so it's just something to be aware of, just in case. Uh, this is Mole Valley Cell Point. If we go to our cell points on here, you'll see over to the right hand side, Mole Valley. If we go back to the map, we have come across the top here, past the pasture, and we are currently here with another farm up there. And I know I mentioned this the last time. This was one of those bits. I remember watching Dagawin come down into here. And he was trying to get to this field here. And I think he had a particular mod on on PC. And he got his tractor stuck in the mud in the water crossing here. And he went off to get like a tow rope winch thing to get it out. And at the time on FS15, because it was PC, I was playing on console. I was gobsmacked by the whole thing. Like, that's amazing. That's so cool. Not realising at the time that on console, you know, I, was a, I was a proper noob back then. Um that you couldn't do it, but that was all around here. So as I'm going around, there's all these different bits I kind of recognize. Now, this is what I was talking about, a circular route. On a previous version of this, all this section across here was quite heavily wooded, um, and you couldn't get through across here. But on this version, there is a track that runs down, I think it's down the side of here, goes across here, and brings you down to this bit here so you can actually drive right the way across if you want a shortcut from places it's i'm not you know it's not going across open fields there is an actual track and if we go back out i'll show you and, and in uh, with hindsight in retrospect i could have probably or should have probably you see the track goes off down there cuts through the hedge there goes right the way across you can head down i could have done a circular route round like that but what i'm going to do is head back across the map back past Naveswell, and i'm going to carry on because i've made my notes but made my notes based upon the route I worked out. If I go down that way now, I'm going to have to read it all backwards and it's going to get a little bit confusing. So it gives us a chance to have a look at the map as we're going across. It's not too far to drive in all honesty. 
There aren't a huge amount of sell points um, on the map. However, there are plenty of places. Um, the biogas plant being one of them. If you own it on New Farmer, but buy it on Farm Manager and start from scratch, there's some nice open bits of concrete. You can put some sell points or production chains and things on it. There's also a placeables point on the map. If we get to here, I will show you where we are and I'll show you where we're going to go, but I'll also show you on the map. So we've gone back past Naveswell Farm. Um, this track here leads all the way back down under the railway bridge, past the pig farm, past the cow farm. Now this bit here is a big open concrete area, nice and flat, which you could you could put a load of stuff on there. You could make it into a whole other farm, or if you wanted to have it as an industrial state with production chains or whatever you want to do, that's a nice big open space. That one there um, to buy is 181,000, not too bad, but you do get the field next to it as well, which is pretty cool. We are going to head across here, work our way across, and then we're going to head down and we're going to come back across the map that way. Um, like I say, that's just the, the sort of way I worked out the route. Now, the other thing I will point out, this is a minor thing, a really, really minor thing. As we go around the map, you wouldn't know this if you don't know the area. Um, Wareham is that way. Swanage is that way, as is Studland. I think all of the signs on the map are, are generic. If every sign we come to will say exactly the same thing. And interestingly, at one point, I think there are two signs. One point's one way, one point's the other, and they both say the same. Um, so if you're looking to get to the Swanage, don't get confused by the... That's that. It's a tiny thing, it's a minor thing, and if you didn't know the area, you wouldn't have to. But I, I got down to a road and thinking, hang on a minute, that's weird. Probably shouldn't have even pointed it out. It's a lovely bit of countryside, this. And now I'm torn again. I'm torn again with map choice. So, just pull over on the grass here. Chickens are just here. As I said, you can buy the farm. The, the triggers and stuff are all here uh, to buy that whole section. Which, so this is the it's a joint sheep and chicken farm. Uh, that's 427,000, but you do get both sets of fields here. You do get all the buildings. There's a whole load here. There's a whole load going on. This will do. 30 chickens. Feed trough being there. Egg boxes will spawn here. I say you get the field up behind there, which is very nice. Let's close the game. Carry on through. I, I love these farms when you drive around the UK and you go down country lanes. It's not what's country lanes, but you'll be going on the road and you've got farms split either side of a road. It gives you that feeling of driving through the middle of a farm, you know. That not that you're intruding, but you'll get into sort of see stuff that you don't always see on other farms. So as I said, loads of barn and building space. Our trigger over here for our sheep. Two hundred. Feed trough. Now this one does have a water trough as well. If we go around, I would jump the fence back so you see it go around. Open up the gate. There is a water trough. Just there. So your water point is there. So they will require water as well. But this is for your sheep. It's just a lovely bit of landscape. I know a lot of people have been saying, am I going to move from Pemberton's to an American map? And I was considering it. Now this has come out. I'm considering it. <laughs> I know the Valley Old Farms due out. I'm considering it. And I know Court Farms is due out at some point. And I'm considering it. So it's that, I don't know. What do you do? We're going to come to another junction in a moment and we're going to head south. Down towards the biogas plant. But if you continue on, the the uh, valley sweeps up a lot steeper and that takes you out to that bit of forestry I said out in the northeast I'm not going to drive all the way out there but there is forestry out there if you want to do it you don't have to of course you see the domes of the biogas plant just over there so we're going to turn down here if you continue on up that road as it sweeps up you can just see the forest on the left hand side over there we're going to head down here I'm trying to... I seem to recall there being more cell points on the previous version, but... I can't really see. My mind. Right, down to the main road. There is a railway line. The railway line is not accessible. The train's not accessible. It just runs through the map, as it does in real life. Uh, the Swanage, well, the train runs from Swanage to Corfe Castle. It mainly runs steam trains. They do run some other locomotives and things as well on it. Um, 
and I think it does join up past Corfe Castle onto the main line because they do have weekends where they do um, really cool events where they have all different sorts of trains come down onto the line and you can I remember taking my kids when they were all very little down into Swanage and we got on the train went out to Corfe Castle and went around Corfe Castle for the day and then back on the train the kids absolutely loved it I mean I did that it was amazing it's a really cool thing to do um, so if you're ever out down Dorset Way and Swanage is lovely as well it's got a lovely beach and stuff it's yeah it's cool anyway Biogas Plant is just here, and like I said, on New Farmer we own this plot. So we've, we've come past here, all the way down there, and we're now at this point. Now we own it at the moment, but Farm Manager starts to start from scratch, you don't. But as you can see, there are some nice open concrete areas um, for placing other things if you want to, which is great. We've got Cell Point just here, it says there, Bale Cell Point. Now there are a few of these signs around, um, which give you a clear indication of what's there, but this is straw and straw and hay cell point shutters do open I think so open all of them it might just be that one I think oh no this one as well there you go as I said the biogas plant is a fairly standard biogas plant but you've got a nice lot of open space so if you want to put silage clamp down here or silage clamps I did have a bit of a play around with that and I tried to put a um, production chain down and a silage clamp and it let me no problem at all one thing I didn't check was whether or not we can sell we can sell the biogas plant so if you wanted to sell the biogas plant but a smaller one in a bigger one right, and change it where it's positioned or something like that you could if you wanted to actually you know what I'm going to do I'm going to do, I'm going to do that only because I'm curious to see yeah it does go whether it would do the same as it did on the other one. Now, can we get rid of those? Because if we can't get rid of those, that's not going to help. No. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, you can still change the rotation, the orient rotation, the orientation of it, I guess. Yeah, anyway, it just gives you some options. Doesn't hurt to check while you're here. So, from the biogas plant, we're going to go back on the main road watch for the traffic because I never do when I'm doing map tours I never do when I'm playing on my maps and I get clobbered repeatedly I know a lot of uh, YouTubers have a crash counter when they're streaming I suppose I should start doing that <laughs> so see what I mean about the sign we've just come down the sign was telling us to come down here now that sign's telling us to go back up there that sign's telling us to go that way and they are generic it's you know Under the railway. Now I know people will say, because I, I, I did double check this, because I, I did get a little bit of a feeling it's, it did seem a little bit bright, and I thought, well, oh, the definitely has gone on with my channel and stuff. I wonder if it's a setting that's changed. It's not. I tried a different couple of maps. I tried my test map, and everything's absolutely fine. It just, it just to seem a little bit bright, um, but not everywhere. Um, so I'd, yeah just something to bear in mind We've got a lovely little church and some houses and stuff down there's no cell points or anything in amongst this this is one section of the map you can't buy so all this stuff down south of here so oh, that'd be cool have a sleep tree you might be able to put a little cell point some chickens and bits and bobs you can't buy any of the land there but it looks lovely lovely little village go past all that and we come up to the next set of cell points and and all production production chains. So turn here. I'm gonna pull up on the grass. Just that. We open the gate here and head in and through. We've got Gateway Park cell point, which is tucked around the back here. That cell point. Cereal factory is just here. My only concern with the cereal factory, um, I haven't tested it, but if we come around the back here, and like I said this is owned already, um, you've got your dropping off trigger plus your pallet spawn point right on top of each other. I, I can't see it. it shouldn't be a problem unless you've got pallets there, but I guess if you came in at an angle, you should still be able to tip. Anyway, um, and then your manage production point is just there for the cereal factory. Next door, petrol station. I know it says gas station, but we're in the UK. It's petrol. And diesel, of course. And then across the way, we have got our vehicle shop. 
This is also a reset point, so if you need to reset anything, it will reset back here. So our vehicle shop is just the left hand side there, and our workshop trigger is just the right there. As you can see, so that's our vehicle shop. We're going to turn around. And we're going to go into Wilkeswood Farm. There's no silos or anything at Wilkeswood Farm. Again, I'm trying to think on the previous version. I'm sure it, was it one of the buildings here had this really fancy sort of grain silo type thing. The building is still there, but I don't think it functions. Um, it's just a, sh a shed as far as I can tell. Again, I don't I'm, I'm hundreds of map tools in on ver various iterations of the game and I'm when you get ones that get ported over especially they get ported over multiple times from 17 to 19 to 22 it's remembering what all the various different ones had on them so I'm going to stop there so we do have a farmhouse there if you want to put a sleep trigger down you absolutely can come into the farmyard itself plenty of barn space as you can see either side if we go across there this is the equipment I was talking about so we do have a baler here Around the sides here, we've got a wind route and we've got a tether tucked away. More barn space here. And then the, I'm sure this was the one. Um, it's really cool, something a bit different though. Storing your stuff. Got a sort of drying, cooling unit to make sure everything stays as it should do. The overhead gantries. Something a bit different, isn't it? So this is Wilkeswood Farm. I'm going to go back to the map just to show you. From the biogas plant, we headed down the road there under the railway, past the church and all the buildings. I'll show you again on this bit here. See, we can buy these plots here. This bit we can't. And then we've got the cell points here we were just looking at. The Gateway Park, um, the cereal factory, and the vehicle store. We are now here at Wilkeswood Farm. When we come back out of Wilkeswood Farm, I'm going to take you across and show you the, uh, the horses and the pigs. And then we're going to head west towards Harmon's Cross and Corfe Castle. Corfe Castle's worth a visit as well, that's very cool. There's a, um, I haven't been for quite a while, I'm not going to lie, I haven't been for a while. Um, our default setting these days, we went down to Weymouth Way um, with the kids last year, all my kids are all grown up now, but we all went, the whole family, and we stayed at this lovely B&B place, and oh, it was just amazing, a weekend away. Um, but we didn't go out Swanage Way, we normally do a drive over the top, over the range roads from Weymouth out towards um, Swanage and um, in Corfe Castle they used to have this little um, well model a model village of Corfe Castle and the surrounding area and it's just it's brilliant absolutely love it and you can walk up to the castle and it's a ruin now but it's still very cool on the left hand side we've got the horse barn all in there so buildings and building space here, the horse barn here will do eight horses. And like I said, farm management start from scratch, that building is not here. I think we could probably remove it now if we wanted to. You can might be able to place a different one, but it is kind of fitted into where the fences and stuff are. As far as I'm aware as well, I don't think we can remove fences. So that building will go. As you can see, I can remove that. Um, you might be able to get one that fits back into the gap. Or fit one in that's smaller and then put a bit of fence in between if you wanted to. All this is still here though. We've got our exercise area if you want for exercising your horses. Or you can go out into the countryside if you want to. And we can also access it from the main road here if you want to. And that's the uh, the shed. Three door shed garage. Which can also be removed if you wish once you own the land. That's the horse barn. And back out onto the main road. I said main road, not the main road. We go under the railway. I love this. This is another one of those. It's that kind of screenshot thing, isn't that lovely little old railway bridge with a bit of a farm through the. You know, that's just the, the inner photography in me. The photography photographer in me looking at stuff and thinking, oh, that'd be cool. That looks nice. That'd make a good screenshot. Whatever it might be. So, go through all here. We've got a silage clamp just there. If you want to do silage. Now, this is what I was talking about. So, on farm management start from scratch we don't have these triggers here but the buildings are all here and when you buy the plot of land the triggers don't reappear so whilst this is all here it doesn't like clear it all out if it cleared out all the buildings and stuff then you could maybe place your own one um, but it doesn't the triggers go and the stuff is all still here so that's again 
just something to be aware of but this will do 300 pigs here at the pig farm we are currently here we can come back out onto the main road and head across just checking on my notes to make sure i missed anything I don't think we talked about contracts being available we've looked at the biogas plant reset point yeah we've done all that we certainly have right Beware of fast moving traffic coming over the bridge. Is that going to stop in front of me? Probably. Oh no, we got, we got lucky there. We're still pulled out for the car. Look at that. As we come around the bend to our right, we've got the Fisherman Public House. With the cell point next to it, so that's the fisherman's cell point. Continue further along, we will come to the animal dealer, the livestock market. There's no cell point here, this is just the animal dealer livestock market. We go in and around the back. Continuing on, westward, you see Corf Castle looming in the distance. On our left, we have got carpentry, which you do start with. Now, something to note about this. We only have carpentry here. There's no sawmill. So, I think there's a little track. Where was the train that? Where is that? Oh no, it's further down off here. If you come out the back of um, a Wilkeswood farm, this track that runs around through here takes you back to a bit of woodland at the back there. Um, I thought it was off the back of here. No, it's off the back of Wilkeswood farm, the other side of the railway line. Um, so we have got carpentry here. If we click on it and manage carpentry, as you normally do, we've got furniture from wood, furniture from planks, but we can't make planks because we don't have... Um, we don't have a, a sawmill. So if you do want to bring planks here to the carpentry, you're gonna need a sawmill point. There are plenty of modded ones about in all the different various shapes and sizes. That might be something you might wanna put up on that placeables area further up the other way, out towards the other woodland. Um, or you might not wanna do logging at all or anything to do with sawmill or carpentry. You don't have to, of course you don't. Um, but yeah, just to make you aware, there isn't a sawmill. We do have carpentry, but if you do want planks, then you we're going to need to have some way of making them or buy them all and then that's entirely up to you going back up to the main road we can't actually head out to Corf Castle we get to the edge of the map just here is the edge of the map uh, if we follow the track up there um, you can't walk out to either that's that's off the map off the map edge but it's just there what I'm going to do though is take you back to it's just right here that track I said about the joints from the top of the map down I could have made it a circuit that track starts here and heads north all the way up. And I, there is a little thing, I'm trying to think what the map was. Um, oh man. That had the, the footpath that ran across the map with all the little stars to cross and stuff like that. It just reminded me of that straight away. Oh, why can't I remember the name of it? Uh, Sandy, Bay, Sandy Bay might have had them. Um, there was another one that did anyway so yeah I just saw these and what was quite cool with a nice view out but I walked out across and yeah you can't go all the way to it but it's there on the horizon a nice visual and like I said we can follow this track all the way back up to do a complete circuit round if you want to that's the map that's Purbeck Farm 22 by MS Modding 
I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. Please, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.